Mm -hmm. uh, so while everyone's unmuted, I'm gonna I'm gonna pose a quick question, uh, which is, do we sit or stand for kiddush? Stand. Stand. I'm, I'm hearing stand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you corrected me once, Rabbi, so I know. I think oh, I know good. Then, you can, then you can say it and I don't have to, Ira. <laughs> no, you, you were giving me this, this uh, drush that said, no, you're supposed to be sitting down when you say Kiddush. And I've never really experienced that. It always, for me, it was the tradition to stand, even at you know, the family table. But, right. but I, so I, I, I was misinformed until... <laughs> well, it's, uh, so so it, it emerges, uh, some, of, some of the key to all of this emerges from this week's parasha. Uh, so yeah, so Kiddush should be recited, seated at the table, um, because it is, uh, it is the start of the meal, it's the convening of the meal. But on Friday night, we begin Kiddush with the passage that starts by Echu um, HaShemayim, that uh, is the description of the original Shabbat of creation, Shabbat Bereshit, uh, that comes from the end of the first Aliyah in this week's parasha. We'll be reading it tomorrow morning. Um, Leo Cook, who just had his bar mitzvah, will be reading Torah for us. Um, and the, the Talmud understands that that passage of Bayahulu that we recite um, is actually a dut, it's testimony. And in Talmudic law, witnesses always stand when testifying. Um, and so people started, you know, people would stand for that paragraph. Um, and what emerged over time is people then would stand for all of Kiddush on Friday night, and then people just started standing up for Kiddush. Um, what we do in our house uh, is to stand for the paragraph by Achulu and then to sit for Berei Pri Hagafen and the actual Kiddush blessing. In other words, we stand only for that part of Kiddush for which it is necessary to stand. And, um, and certainly during the daytime Kiddush, where there's no Edut, uh, we remain sitting. Also, uh, festival Kiddush uh, in the evening, if it's not a Friday night, there's no Edut. We sit for the whole thing. Um, some of you, oh, I don't know actually if any of you have ever been to our Seder, but uh, maybe one day. Uh, right? We sit for the Kiddush at our Seder for the whole thing. Um, and uh, the, the Hasidic Rebbe of Ishbitz kind of picks up on this notion from the Talmud of a dut of testimony. And he, he notices that in a lot of cases, in most of the cases where the Talmud is talking about testimony, uh, it has to do less with um, the kind of appearing in court kind of testimony, or if there is an appearing in court. Um, it's an appearing in court of witnesses to confirm Firm earlier testimony that's written in a document. Um, sometimes a ketubah or a get, a marriage or divorce document, but often a loan. Um, and what the Ishbitzer Rebbe says is, you know, if we look at the way these witnesses uh, perform, the way they carry out their duties, they are mixed up in the deal that they're witnessing. Uh, right? They are... Um, they're interested parties, right? They had a, a, a something to do with the making of this deal. And now they're being called upon to testify to the, the truth of the deal. And then he says that the same thing actually becomes true of us. That when we stand on Friday night and we say, that, um, that God completed the creation of heaven and earth and all of their inhabitants, that we are like the witnesses to these Talmudic loans, um, actually taking part in, in verifying the deal. We are partners with God in creation. And our, our testimony, not that the world would cease to exist if I didn't make Kiddush on Friday night, um, but we're reinforcing for ourselves our role as, um, as partners, as stewards of creation. Um, and thinking about this, I was talking with a, a childhood friend who's also a rabbi today, and um, 
was on his way to interview via Zoom the dean of the rabbinical school that we attended uh, for a conversation about climate change that he's then going to share tomorrow during his conversations, uh, his congregation services um, about Parashat Bereshit. Um, and that, that link to say, we go from the Torah's description of ancient creation to contemporary stewardship. Uh, stewardship for climate, stewardship for animal life, stewardship for plant life. Um, it's that link that the Ishbitzer Rebbe wants us to be thinking about establishing at Kiddush. Um, because we are not merely people who get one day off in seven, who get to sit down to uh, a nicer than usual meal. Who uh, We brought out the, the good plates tonight, uh, which the kids were very excited about. Um, right, but, um, but this moment on Friday night is more than the good plates and an extra glass of wine. Um, it's a reminder that, you know, in that moment that we stop the work of the week, of what the work of that week is really actually all about. Um, and, and we know when the Torah says, that you work for six days and you do all your work, and then the seventh day is a Shabbat for us with God, um, that there's a linkage there. There's a relationship. It's not actually, right? Shabbat is not actually a severing from the other six days, even though we turn off and unplug and recharge. Um, but the seventh day is linked to the other six days. Um, and, and the Hasidic Rebbe's teach us that our enjoyment of the seventh day is dependent on the depth and quality of our work on the other six days. And then, so then we, we go from we go from the six days of work into the seventh day we sit on the seventh day in this primordial moment of creation right we say in the kiddush bereshit it's an invoking of the works of creation and we come out of shabbat back into those six days of work, having stood in witness and affirmed our place in that work. Um, so we'll conclude our service tonight with Kiddush. Um, and if you're looking for the words, it's on page 312. Um, and I will invite you to follow whatever custom you have uh, inherited from your families sitting, standing, uh, or invite you to join me in uh, standing for the first half and then sitting. <laughs>